Jerry of the Circus. Jerry of the Circus. Come on, we're going in the bus. Hello, Bum. Can we come in? Well, looks like you're already in, Jerry. Oh, say, leave the door open. It's kind of stuffy in here. Sure. Well, Jerry, I want you to meet our new wagon mate. This is Carlos. Hi, you boy. Glad to meet you. This is my dog. His name's Ray. <laughs> Jerry, this is Alfredo. I'm sure glad to know you both. Jerry and Greg. We will all be friends, eh? I hope so. Well, these are the famous Bendini brothers. Their family have made that name famous for generations. Gee, really? Thanks, Bumps. I take my bow now for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> my brother never missed chance to take bows. Well, I'm always proud to know show people who have followed in the steps of their forefathers and have become such artists that their name has continued to be famous for generations. Yes, our father, he was a great artist, and his father and grandfather before him. When we were boys, our father made us work. Always we learn to balance, to take falls, to watch exact timing. Timing? Sure. You must learn exactly to be there the moment your partner expects you. A moment late, or a moment early, or if your partner is not braced, you both fall. Gee, that must be hard. No, it is not so hard. It takes only experience and attention. Never must we watch anything else that is going on when we are working. Remember how Mama used suddenly to scream when we were little. Then if we looked away, our father scolded us. <laughs> Or when we were balancing on the wire and he would shoot off a firecracker right under us. But didn't that hurt? <laughs> of course not. He would not do anything dangerous. But he would just test us to see we know how to keep our minds on our business. <laughs> oh, my gollies. Look how late it is. Well, come on. Come on, Rags. we got to work. I'll come on over with Carlos and Alfredo. Okay. We'll see you later, boys. And remember, you go on at five minutes past three. We will be there. Be sure to catch our act. Don't worry. I wouldn't miss it for anything. <laughs> come on, boys. Come on. Say, what are these shiny poles for? We work with them. Oh, uh, do they help you to keep your balance? That's what they are for. What's that you're doing to those shoes? Putting rosin on them. But why? Well, if our feet didn't hold firm, it would be tough, eh, Carlos? When our balance go, it is bad. Quick as a flash, we must twist back. Sure, I know. Like riding a bicycle. Can you ride a bicycle? Sure, who can't? I got a bicycle you can't ride, I bet. Why, oh, you trying to kid me. Oh, no, he's not. He means it. I bet I could. Well, gee, I, I've been able to ride any bicycle I've ever seen without handlebars and, and anything. Wait till you get what you call, uh, uh... A load of my bicycle. I bet I can ride it. It's a bet. Look behind that door and you'll find my bicycle. Oh, say. Gee whiz, it, it's a beaut. Now, I, I never saw such a pretty bicycle, all shiny. Say, wouldn't I like to get this out on the road? So you think you'd like to try it, huh? You bet I would, say. But look, you, you haven't got any tires on her. No, she don't have tires. No use for them. What are you talking about? You got to ride her on a wire. See the grooves in her wheels? Say, what is this? Oh. <laughs> Gee whiz, you fellas are sure getting a lot of fun out of me. You mind being kidded, Jerry? Oh, no, of course not. I, I just don't like to be so dumb. You're a good sport. Don't mind my brother Carlos. He all the time likes to kid people. 
say, guess you fellas better hurry. It's late. Don't you go on at three or, or five minutes after? Golly, it must be way past that. What do you say? No. No, no, it can't be. So oh, late. Oh, no, it can't I... be. Now we lose this job. What do we do, Carlos? I always say someday we kid ourselves right out of a job, and now we do it. <laughs> what you laughing at? You think it's funny we lose our job? <laughs> no. No, I'm sorry, but, but you were both so funny. It's not three yet. You, you got time. I was just kidding, that's all. <laughs> oh, the kiddies got spunk, huh? Oh, you and me so scared I could hardly think. Well, I guess we had it coming. <laughs> All right, Jerry, you win this time, but you wait. You just wait. Quick, come on. Get our things. I'll take the bike. You got the poles? Yes, I am all ready. Gee, I, I'd sure like to learn to work on a tightrope. It must be lots of fun. Yes, you can learn to walk on one wire easy. But wait. You see all the things we do on wire. They are not so easy. Hey, here's the pad room. You see, you have plenty of time. Good. Hi, boss. Shh. Quiet, Rags. Well, you're next, boys. <laughs> Jerry and I will watch you, so you better be good. Ah, we bandinis are always good. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you at this time the world-famous bandinis, those renowned artists who have performed before the royalty of several continents, who have been applauded around the world. The beautiful and talented Carmen and her two clever brothers, Alfredo and Carlos. Ladies and gentlemen, the Benzinis. Gee, are they really as famous as he says? Mm, yes, they are, Jerry. Gee, I, I can hardly wait. Say, isn't Carmen beautiful? <laughs> she certainly is. Look at her go up that ladder like an old duck hand. What a, a pretty parasol. Why do wire walkers always carry parasols? The women, I mean. Oh, it helps them to keep their balance. Like the balance and poles for men, huh? Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> She's a graceful little thing, isn't she? Almost like dancing, isn't it? Look, Carlos has gone up on one side of the wire and Alfredo on the other. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going out in the wire while she's in the middle. Yeah. But why is Alfredo carrying that funny chair out with him? Mm, don't know, unless it's just... Gee, a... look. Carmen is closing her parasol. She? She, she works without it, too. <laughs> I guess she's through with it, all right. She's thrown it down into the ring. Golly, it's sure a long ways down. And no nest. Hey. Fonzie. Look at that. Is she really going to sit in that chair? Oh, looks like it. But imagine balancing it up there on that wire. Golly. Oh, well, she made it all right. Why doesn't she sit still? Look how they're swaying. I believe she's going to do stunts on that chair. She is. Look. Standing on her hands. Golly. Uh, say, she's got nerve all right. I'll say she has. What's the matter, Rags? Oh, I see. No, you stay right here. Say, Bumps, look. That duck's loose. Huh? Oh, say, that is funny. Belongs to Johnny Bradley. He never lets her run around like that. Guess I'd better get her back. Here, duck, duck. Hey, say, Bumps, what's her name? It's Lulu. Sure, Lulu. Nice, Lulu. Well, Lulu, guess I got you that time. Lucky you had that string around your neck. Now, where's your master? Oh, Mr. Bradley. Mr. Bradley. Hmm? Yes, uh, what? Uh, here's your duck, Mr. Bradley. Hmm? Oh, oh, yes, yes, to be sure. Uh, uh, thank you, boy. My name's Jerry. Oh, uh, Jerry. Uh, yes, yes, I, I'll remember. I Don't you I... feel well? Well? Well, of course. I'm quite fit, quite. You acted sort of, well, as if you didn't feel so good. Oh, nonsense. Fit as a fiddle. Uh, perhaps I just dozed a bit. Well, if you're sure you're all right. Uh, thank you, my boy, uh, for bringing Lula back. I can't imagine how she got away from me. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Bradley. Well, if there's nothing I can do, Rags and me were watching the new wire act. Come along, Rags. Golly, I, I hope we didn't miss the bicycle stunt. Say, Bumps, did I miss much? Uh, I'll say you did. <laughs> what an act. Aw, oh, gee, is it all over? Uh, just a minute. Golly, and I missed a bicycle act and everything. Oh, never mind, Jerry. There'll be lots of times to see them again. <laughs> From the sound of that audience, I guess the Bendinis will be with the circus for a long time. I sure hope so. Don't you, Rag? <laughs> it's about time you got your face washing and your ears. Ooh, oh, so oh. that reminds me, Jerry. Huh? I've been wanting to ask you where that key is to Rag's collar. Uh, he's got to be laundered before he goes out in front of another audience. Sure, I forgot it. Anytime you say. I don't see why you bother to lock that collar every time. Oh, I don't know. Dad gave me the collar, and, and it was kind of tricky-like and all. Well, the key just came with it, so I, 
I kind of like to use it. <laughs> oh, sure, Jerry. I understand. Eh, we'll both get it rags right after the show. Oh, oh, here come the Bendinis again. Say, you were wonderful. Oh, you liked our act, huh? Liked it? Gee, it was marvelous. You still think you'd like to try and ride that bicycle someday? Oh, gee, I, I missed that part of it. I, I had to chase a duck that Rags was chasing, but, but what I saw was you, great. It's beautiful work, boy. <laughs> You're a true artist. And your sister, too. She's... Uh, where'd she go? Oh, she go quick to dress. She is modest, not like us. We like to stand around and have everybody say how good we are. Yes. <laughs> you must meet our sister, Carmen. She wants swell girl. Uh, I'd like to. She's one swell trooper, that's sure. I'll say. Thanks. Now, Carlos, you think they say enough nice things to us yet? Because I'm out and I think I'd better change. No, they're not saying enough. But perhaps we save some of it and go change now, huh? Then later they can come and tell us some more nice things. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Well, see you boys later. They're nice, both of them. They sure love to joke. Yeah, they're jolly folks. We're lucky to have them in our wagon. There goes Mr. Bradley with his duck now. You know, Bumps, I think there's something wrong with him. Hmm? What? Oh, I don't know. He, he acts so funny. Well, how do you mean? Well, it, as if he were sick or something. You come to think of it, he hasn't looked too good lately. Oh, it's bad, too. He's not a young man anymore. Look how funny he's acting. He goes on now, doesn't he? Yes, in just a minute. Oh, so Johnny, is there anything wrong? Eh? Oh, no. No, of course not. I, I'm all right. Look, he most fell. Uh, get some water, quick, Jerry. Oh, here, now, what's wrong? You you look sick. No, I I guess I, I'm just faint. Well, uh, Jerry's getting you some water. Uh, I don't think you'd better go on for your act, oh, Johnny. Oh, no, no, I, I must go on. Hey, here's some water, Mr. Bradley. There. <laughs> is that better? Yes. Yes, thanks very much, I'll be better now. Oh, please say nothing of this to anyone. I'll be quite all right. Well, of course, if you wish. Oh, yes, yes, I do. And thank you for your kind assistance. Come, Lulu. We, we must go on now. Uh, thank you again for your kindness. Isn't he funny? We didn't do nothing. Oh, he's really sick. He was worried, wasn't he? Golly, I, I guess we'd better keep our eyes on him. He may need some help. I wonder why he's so funny about not wanting anybody to know about it. Hey, Bumps, do you think he's in trouble? <laughs>